Hi guys, how are you? This is Daniel. Today has been one of the most inspiring days I've had in a long time. It's been I I can't descri- describe it. It's been it's been a really amazing day for me. Yesterday, merely by chance, ch- chance, I came across a video from from the speaker Bob Proctor. Who who is actually in the the movie The Secret, which I mentioned for you yesterday, and it's from a coaching program of his called it's called You Were Born Rich, and with that he doesn't mean that you were born into into riches, and and, and he he means that you were born with the abilities to be whatever you want to be, to have whatever you want to have. And I, I've watched the first three hours of his his course. I don't know how many hours there are. Uh, I I would think they're about nine or ten or, or something like that. But I've watched them. I watched the first three today, and I'm 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 simply overwhelmed. I, I'm not I'm not at all uh, in in doubt that I will see these videos again and again because it is it is simply unbelievable. How I feel about this, and and, and 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 how different I look at everything from just seeing this. And I'm going, I'm going to share with you some of these things that I, that has just dawned on me today. One of the first thing things he, he says to do is is to get a goal card where you write down your goal. And and that's what I did today. I've heard it before, but I, I never did it. I took one of my old business cards. I, I had, a, had a, a a whole box full of them with, with 500 pieces, <clears throat> and I just wrote on the back of it, "This is my new goal card." And on this I said, "The first of January 2014, I will have 100,000 crowns, Danish crowns, in my bank account." I have to, to, to translate this correctly because I didn't, didn't do it correctly. It says literally the first of January 2014, I have I not I will have, I have a hundred thousand crowns. That's about twenty thousand crowns, I think. Between fifteen and th- uh, no dollars. Between fifteen and twenty thousand dollars. That's uh, that's a lot of money for me to have in green on my bank account because I have some red letters on now which I want to take away but this is my this is my goal card and I, I he says something that I, I can feel it happening just by by what ha, what has been happening today he says keep your goal card on you uh, in your pocket around you at all times and read it because if you write a lie on a piece of paper and look at it and read it aloud to you or inside your mind. Just read it over and over and over again. The lie becomes the truth. And I can feel it. When I first wrote it down, I, th- I thought, it's only six months from now. I, I, I can't do it. I, it's, it's, it's impossible. It's, 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 it's weird to, to, to even think about having this, uh, this amount of money in my bank account. But... When I work, went to, to work today at my, my J-O-B, I, I had it in my pocket and I had, kept it in the same pocket as my phone. And whenever I, I would check what time it was or, or I would check a, a message or something else on my phone, then I would feel the, the card in my pocket. And I would, I would take the card, I would read it. The 1st of January 2014, I have 100,000 crowns on my bank in, in my bank account and the more times I did that I didn't I don't know how many I was at work for for five hours I don't know if I did it 10 or 20 or, or, or 30 times but I noticed that the more I did it the more I began to smile while reading it I noticed that every time I did it then the for every time I did it then I would actually feel the feelings of having these and and the more I did it 
it started to, to feel like it was the truth. It, it started to feel like it was something I, I was planning. Like if you're planning a vacation, you're, you're not, you're sure you're gonna you're going to get there, and you can imagine it, and you know you're gonna going to get there. Th- this felt exactly the same way. It felt like I was planning it, like I'm, I was planning a vacation. <laughs> and then this is this just this simple technique is it's so unbelievable how much this does. Some of the other things I've. I've taken from from the the first three hours I watched is another goal is uh, to to explain this goal I have to explain something that he says in in the course and I think I can draw it for you he says there's many people think that we as humans are a physical being because we have our body and we have our senses, our, our five senses, where we can, where we can see, we can feel, we can taste, we can hear, and, and all that, and and therefore people normally think that we are physical beings. But but he says that's not true. We work, we work on three levels. We work on our on our physical. That's P. For physical, we work on our physical. We work on an in intelligent level too, and we work on a spiritual level. And he says that we are actually spiritual people. We don't. We are not our bodies. I'm not my body. I'm not my brain. If you think of your mind, what what image pops in your head? Is it is it the brain? Or is it something else? Most people will think think of the brain, but that's not that's not our mind. Uh, we are someone, and we use our brain and our body to to react in the physical world. But we we are thinking on, on a whole on a whole other plane, and and that's that's the spiritual part. We also work on an intellectual part, where we can think, we can imagine, we can we can we can use our intellect, and then we have our our physical level. We're not only physical, we, we are in, in everything. And the way he describes it is this is the picture from from the course. Where this is the the top here represents our conscious mind, what we think about, what we can think about. This represents everything that we we Consciously think. I'm thinking about what I what I want to say right now, and, and this is my consciously conscious mind talking because this is some new information I have to remember. If if I had had heard this a hundred times before, and I, if I've told people about it seven thousand times, I would not think about it. I would just do it with my subconscious mind because I I, I would not think about it. Uh, this is the subconscious mind down here. When something becomes a habit, it because it's because that we at some point thought about it consciously and sent the information to our subconscious mind and thereby turning it into a habit by doing it over and over and over and over again. Like when, if you are familiar with driving a car, then the first time you, you would drive, a, drive your car, you would think about everything. You would think about the, the clutch, if, if you were, were in a car with a manual gear, you would think about the brake, you would think about the, the, spe- the speedometer, you would think about everything in the car, but when, if 20 years later, you just sit, sit in the car and then you, your mind wanders totally free when, when you drive. Even if you have to drive 100 miles, it doesn't matter. Your mind won't even think much about actually driving the car. And it's because it's become a habit. It's something you have thought about consciously so many times that it has become something you do subconsciously. And then there's also the body down below. And we... We can't make our body do something without having it on the subconscious level. If we want to do something like, for example, drive a car, we have to to think about it consciously, put it into our subconscious, and then we can do it with our bodies. That's how he explains it. He explains it a little bit better. I, I need to watch it some few times before I can actually remember everything, but that's that's what he says. 
And if if you do something with your body, it's because your your subconscious mi- mind has received the information, and your conscious mind hasn't rejected it. So if you know that you have to 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 put to step on the brake to to actually brake your car, not not brake to actually stop your car, that's because your your subconscious your your conscious mind think is thinking about uh, stopping the car, and this is the information to the subconscious, and the subconscious controls the body. And, and that that ha- happens through the nervous system and everything else. So so that's how it works. And he says, by ch- if you want to change your if you want to change your results, then you will have to change your physical world. You change your physical world by changing your body, what you do with your body, your actions, and you change. Your physical world by changing your subconscious, and you change your subconscious by consciously changing your conscious thoughts and your conscious imagination and intellectual actions. This is this is this, this is the, some a very short version of what he, he he talks about in there. So I've made another goal to change one of my habits. He actually says that right now from today, change one of your habits, something that you have done. So many times that it has been a, a subconscious action, and this is another one of my goals. This is an action. This is a habit I want to change. And on this card, it says, "I." I have to think about the English word for this. I I get up from bed. I get up from bed at seven o'clock, and then in capital capital letters every day. I get up from bed at seven o'clock every day. This is a big step for me because I, I've normally, my whole life, I, I've had a problem with getting out out of bed and and waking up. And if I could, I would sleep to two o'clock and then go go to bed at, at four in the morning. And but I don't want to do that anymore. I know that by changing this, I will have much more creativity. I will have much more pro, pro productivity, and I would have much, much more self-respect uh, for one thing, and and it will change a lot in my life just by changing this habit. So by doing this, I have to put some some conscious thoughts into this until it becomes a subconscious action, until my body has learned. That that you, I'm sure you know the person. If you're not a, a morning type, then I'm sure you know about someone who is a morning type. I know someone. He gets up at 6:30 every day, even on weekends, even on holidays. He can't sleep more than that, and that's because for the past 40 years he been he's been going to work every day, and and he he gets out of bed 6:30. That's his life. That's his habit. So I want to have a habit like that. Even though it, it frightens me and I don't and I like to sleep in, then I can re- remember when I was 15 years old and I was uh, delivering newspapers in the morning. Then I had to get up at 5:30 every morning, and after doing that for four months, then I, I wouldn't even need my alarm clock anymore. I would wake up every every morning at the, at the right time. I would turn my alarm clock off after only one, after only ringing the first time. I wouldn't snooze or something. That I still remember the first morning where, where I didn't snooze. That was a big step for me, and I want to get there again because you feel so much more. It, it, he he actually says in the course, you can't be successful by getting up at the crack of noon. <laughs> you you can't be successful by beginning late or something. You, you we have something in in ourselves that that we want to get started as soon as possible, and this is my thing. Now I want to get up at seven o'clock, seven a.m. every day. From now on, and that's going to be tough because I get to work at four four o'clock in the afternoon. <clears throat> so so I have the opportunity to sleep in, but I I know every time I sleep until midday until noon, then I I hate myself because I only have f- three hours before I have to get ready for work. So that's that's the thing I want to do right now to change my life for the better. And then I have my long term goal, where on the first of January two thousand and fourteen, I have. A hundred thousand crowns in my bank account, and this this is big. And I can I can feel it. It becomes more and more true every time I I, I read this. 
this is what I I learned today, and I hope you can take something away from this, and uh, and I hope you can use some some of it. And I would I would strongly recommend you for for finding for, for finding this course. It's and it's called "You Were Born Rich" by Bob <clears throat> by Bob Proctor. <clears throat> And just see it. It's available on YouTube. Just search for it. It's it, even though it's many hours. It, when I first saw it, uh, and the, there was three parts, and the first part was three hours, I, I thought I'm never going to get through this. But get over that feeling. It's it's so incredible. To <laughs> I'm lost for words. I can't describe it. Go check it out. Go go see it. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Subscribe if you if you want to learn more about what I'm learning and well thank you again. Bye. See you tomorrow.